Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Pioneer floor plan. This is a, a next gen home, which means it has two homes for one. Uh, how does that work? We have an attached uh, apartment pretty much that you can access from the left side of the house. And then this will be the front side of the house. So I'm going to go show you that entrance really quick. We have a three car garage inside. We have four bedrooms, three full bathrooms and a nice open floor plan. We have a single story. And the starting price for this house is six hundred and forty-four thousand dollars. Uh, starting price, unless you want to upgrade some things, that will be more. Now, this uh, air conditioning unit actually would not be here because they have this um, this garage as an office. They have a unit right here, but this wouldn't be in here. This would be the side entrance to that unit onto the left side of the house, and we'll see once we get in there. I'll show you that unit, but we'll see the full house first now it's called the pa pioneer we have 2469 square feet and the starting price as i mentioned is 645 but that's before any kind of upgrades that you want to do as far as flooring cabinets and countertops and we'll go over those together and show you tell you what it's going to be probably out the door uh depending on you know whether you get this house with a realtor or not and all that stuff we'll talk about it um as I mentioned here, we have a three car garage up front, nice, beautiful stacked stone cover front entrance with the two double doors here, which is nice. And uh, over to the back uh, in this specific home, we're going to have a smaller backyard. I'll show you, but they do have some options for a little bit bigger backyards if you want to put in a pool. HOAs here are around uh, 80 bucks a month. That is not part of a master plan community. We are right next to a master plan community. I'll show you where that master plan community is. You see those homes right there, right there. Those are part of the Talvona community, which is in the master plan community of Sky Canyon. So we are right next to, Sky, no, sorry, Sky Hills. We're right next to Sky Hills. We have beautiful mountain views surrounding us here. It's really difficult to avoid mountains views here. And we're up in the northwest side of the Las Vegas Valley. Uh, this is, uh, you know, it has an easy access to the freeway. You can go to Summerlin within 10 minutes on the strip within 20, 25 minutes. As we go uh, into this house, we'll access the, the house from the front here that has a two, the, I mean, a double door, which is really nice. And uh, I just locked myself out. Man. Time expired. I did it. So as soon as you walk in, you have a nice wide hallway. This hallway is about six feet wide, so it gives you an idea. But you can already see all the light coming in from the back windows. And this one, they upgraded to a nice uh, wood-like tile. You have your front uh, bedrooms up here with the bathroom in between. Nine foot ceilings throughout this house. The next gen is gonna be right here. And then the primary bedroom is in the back. So you have one, two, three, and four bedrooms. Let's start from here. Now this house is not, uh, you know, it doesn't have the furniture yet in it because they just finished these models. I'm guessing the furniture is gonna go up in the next two days. We have a pre-wire for a ceiling fan in this house uh, included. We have the nine foot ceilings in here and orange peel texture, white paint. That's pretty much standard because most of the things that you're gonna see are gonna be coming included. For example, this carpet is included. This tile here is an upgrade that you can choose uh, once you get under contract, depending on how far along the house is built. Uh, one single basin sink under mount, and then they have the fiberglass tub and shower combo. This one cannot be changed. You can, however, change all the flooring here. Uh, this second bedroom is pretty good, a good size. I would say these two bedrooms are about 10 by 11. And, uh, you know, it's not the biggest bedroom, but you can definitely fit a queen size bed in here. Okay. As we go back out, we'll, uh, this will lead us out to the main, you know, open floor plan here, which is really spacious. And I believe they extended this uh, room out a little bit more because it feels bigger than the other Pioneer floor plans that they had before. 
You can see the kitchen over here uh, in the corner, plenty of cabinet space, 42 inch height on the cabinets on the uppers, which is nice. And it will come with uh, a regular granite included as far as the countertop, but you can upgrade to something like this as far as the backsplash. And uh, the included cabinets are actually these ones. So these are, this is one of the three options, but then you can choose which one you want and you can also upgrade to a higher um, you know, quality cabinet if you want as well. They have some other options. As far as the flooring here, as I mentioned, this is all upgraded. Otherwise you would just get tile in the kitchen and then carpet in the rest of the house. But you can definitely upgrade that as well. Now, how much would it cost you out the door for this house? You're probably gonna be in the upper 600s. I would say around 680 or so out the door for this house if you were to add all the upgrades that this house has in it. Uh, but the starting price is around 645. We got a big space here. So that was one of the faults of this floor plan that it just didn't have enough room here in the living room, which I really didn't like. But right now they definitely fixed this because uh, you can see that it has a lot more room here uh, for couches. So you can have a nice L-shaped couch right here with the TV in the corner. And then your sliding door will be right here, well, the, the dining room. And it's not gonna feel crowded, I promise you, once you see these homes all furnished. Uh, it actually looks really nice. As far as the size of the backyard, this is pretty much the average size. You can get some bigger ones. You can definitely fit a pool in here. Now this is locked. I can't go outside and show it to you, but you've got plenty of room. We have about 25 feet to the back, maybe even more than that, 26 or 27. So it'll allow you to get enough room for a pool. This one backs up on what they call the paseos, which is a, a nice, uh, there's a big drop underneath here but it's a nice uh, walk, walking path that you have in this neighborhood. Um, over here we have the primary bedroom and then we'll go out to the attached apartment next door and uh, we'll see what it looks like. So this is the primary. This is a really good size bedroom. It's about 15 feet, 14 feet, I would say on that wall. So from there to there, 14 feet. And then the width is where, uh, you know, you have most of the space. So we have about on this wall, we probably have about 20 feet long, so it gives you plenty of room. As you can see, we have the setup for your TV, so that will be the back, uh, the back of, the, of your bed, of your king-size bed will go there. King-size bed coming out, you can have a little retreat, a few chairs on that side for a nice setup over here. Now, one thing about this uh, community also, you cannot upgrade this fiberglass enclosure tub and shower separate. Uh, these are gonna be the included options. If you don't like it, you can always rip them out and change them out later. Uh, your two undermount sinks, beautiful cabinets, we talked about those. This is the included quartz here in the bathroom. Usually people don't tend to upgrade those. Your water closet is over here to the left and then a big size uh, walk-in closet here for the owner suite. And it's a good size, yeah. Going out, we'll go over to the, uh, the, the next gen suite. Now, before we get there, guys, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That really helps the channel, um, you know, the YouTube algorithm push this video out to other people that might be interested just like you to buy this house. And, uh, you know, if you, maybe you're not interested, you might have a family member or, friend, or a friend interested. So if they are, just send them this video so I can help them get into this house because this is what I do for a living. I'm a realtor and I help people buy mostly new construction homes, but also resale homes. So if you need that realtor with that experience to help you, guide you through the process of finding the right home for you, reach out to me. All my information is down below in the description. Now, we're back here out at the entrance to go out into the next gen so I can show it to you. Now this could also be walled off right here if you didn't want to have the access from the this apartment to the to the house and then you can have two different homes with their own entrances but Lenar gives it with the door right here included this would be part of still the main house so the main house is pretty much three bedrooms and a nice open floor plan as you saw but then you have uh right here also your laundry room washer and dryer are included you get that rack on top if you want to upgrade the cabinets on top on top you can do that as well and then this will be your smart panel these are smart homes so you can connect all the good stuff to this house as you go into the garage we usually can't see it because they always have a block locked but this will be the three car garage now they added some extra walls in between because these are going to be offices they're going to they're going to use 
but it's a big size three car garage. You see the two doors right here and then it's gonna have a third door right there. And then this will go all the way down to that wall, okay? And it's gonna have tankless water heater, all that good stuff in there. A soft water loop if you wanna add a water softener as well. Now this will be the entrance to the other uh, part of the house. This will be that attached apartment. Um, now that door is the door that we saw at the beginning of the video where you walked in. You have a little uh, area right here so you can have a living room, you know, most likely a couch would go like an L-shaped couch right there. It would be a good size too because this is a big space for being an attached living room, um, I mean attached casita. And that will be the setup for your TV right there. So you put the TV right next to that opening of the door. So TV will go right there. A nice, um, you know, uh, what's it called? Piece of furniture underneath to put on all your stuff. And then this will be the kitchen space, which is, it has, it comes with the, all these appliances that you see. So refrigerator, uh, it's gonna be the small one by GE and then microwave and sink. You might notice that there's no cooktop. You can easily get an induction cooktop on Amazon. There's like a two burner for about 150 bucks and you just plug it in directly to that plug. So that could be an option if you wanted a full kitchen out here because they cannot put in a stove technically. Because of city codes, this would be considered a duplex at that point. At that point. And then but it's up to you. If you want to rent it out, you might be able to do it. You just have to check with the HOA that they allow you to do that. But then obviously, you know, feel free to reach out to me and I'll be glad to help with that as well. As you can see here, we have a good size bedroom. It's about 12 by 14. So it's really, you know, pretty spacious. And this one will have also the washer and dryer. It's gonna be a stacked one and this is gonna be electric stacked uh, right here in the closet. So it's easily, you know, very convenient because you don't share the laundry room with the main house. And then you have right here also that, uh, what's it called? The hangers and all that good stuff. Um, over here you have your bathroom for this unit. So it's gonna have the walk-in shower, fiberglass enclosure and all that good stuff. Undermount sink, as you can see. So nice. So yeah, for this one, single story, four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, a nice next gen in here. This is a great option for anybody that maybe wants to live in the main house and wants to rent out the other one, or maybe that has a mother-in-law suite and needs someone that needs a mother-in-law suite or you know whatever you would need it for you can use this so it's a very good option to have if you're interested in one of these homes feel free to reach out to me all my information is down below in the description now what do i think about the price it's uh, a little steep but Renard does offer some really good value out here in this neighborhood and you know would i pay for for this house that much probably i mean it's difficult to find this kind of product with the next gen in a neighborhood like this one so um, I like what they're offering. It's a great option for a lot of people that, uh, that need a home out here on this part of town because there's no such thing as the next gen up here unless you go up to Sunstone, but then you don't get the single story option that they have out here. So thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like these, and I'll see you on the next one.